Hey, what's going on everybody? Mike back with you again. I hope you're having a great day. What I want to talk about today is cargo space. You know, maybe you're looking at a Model Y uh, as your next vehicle and you're just wondering if it's big enough. They call it a crossover SUV, of course. And uh, with that comes some certain expectations and storage is one of them. What does 68 cubic feet of storage mean? What I hope to provide today is a little bit of perspective. So we're going to load this thing up today with camping gear. Keep the back seats up so you can get an idea if you do have a family of four or three or whatever the case may be. And then we're going to see how much we can actually fit and how cramped we are. Let's take a look. Okay, so we have everything loaded up in the car. Are you 10 feet away? I'm about 10 feet away, yeah. Okay. So we have everything loaded up in the car, and to be honest, I could have fit more stuff um, just by squeezing in bags and, and stuff like that, but I definitely could have fit more. But we're gonna go ahead and unload it and show you everything that we fit. All right, let's start with the front. So in here, there's actually more space than what we've utilized, but, so we've got the hammock. Hey, you wanna hold that, bud? That's the hammock. And this is just an extra sleeping bag here. This is a nice, uh, a down sleeping bag. Oh, a hammock. A, you know what a hammock is. And then we've got. I'm sleeping in a hammock in yeah. the tent. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and load this there. That there we go. Sleeping in a hammock in the tent. Okay. Tents. Yeah, that's a six-person family size tent. And so that's all we put in there. We had extra room, but that's all oh. we really needed. All right. Uh, before I go and unload everything, just give a quick rundown. So we've got up on the top here three fishing poles. Uh, whenever we go camping. Um, we tend to go to a campground with a lake and we like to go fishing. These are seven foot poles, which is probably bigger than I'd ever bring on a camping trip. Um, but just to show you that it will fit in there, those are three seven foot poles. Definitely would, I'd probably bring about five foot poles on a regular camping trip just because it's, you know, lake fishing and you're probably going for trout and stuff like that. But, you know, they do stick out over the uh, center console there. But, I mean, like I said, it, I would normally bring five foot poles, so they would probably come to about here. All right, and so then we have a uh, a giant, heavily insulated 80 gallon cooler, which will keep ice in your belongings cold for days. So um, definitely an, a nice camping cooler. Um, fishing uh, tackle bag here, extra cooler. We got just the utility bag. You can put whatever camping essentials you need in there. We've got an extra utility bag for other whatever other miscellaneous items. And then, um, so you could fit definitely four or five more of those bags or, or utilize the extra space that you've got in here for whatever else. But, you know, that's just kind of what, that's all, this is all we would need, honestly, for a weekend or a long weekend camping trip. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep on uh, unloading and show you what we got. All right, so the top layer of the hatchback's been cleared out. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh my, oh well, my, what? All right, so we've got another cooler. Oh, we got? I know, we've got three. Can't have too many coolers. Nope, we need to open that yeah, bag what's up. what's under there? Here, take out that bag. Huh? Take out that bag. This one? Yep, it's like a camping, tracking, uh, hunting bag, but you can fit lots of camping gear in here. All right, so two of the uh, kids' camping chairs. Um, a roof for probably two more, but we don't need two more. Uh, about a foot by four feet of extra space there. Okay, this is everything we just took out of the car. Got a couple of utility bags, uh, one right here, and then the other one's right over there. You've got our 10 zig, uh, rather large, called a camping bag, hunting bag, whatever you want to call it, but you can fit lots of camping gear in there. You've got a smaller uh, Yeti cooler here, you've got the large 80 gallon cooler right there. You've got a six person Coleman tent, a couple of sleeping bags, and or I'm sorry, just one sleeping bag there, and a hammock, another cooler, just to, just to show you we can fit that much more and then four camping chairs the three seven foot long fishing poles like i said there was definitely more room in there for some extra bags probably dad, probably good uh dad, i know this one is mine that one's yours yeah okay dad who are you talking to um we're talking to you know who we're talking to yep no youtube you, you, we're talking to youtube yeah say hi say hi to everybody hi everybody all right yeah so in here we probably have uh, three other sleeping bags. Um, you can get them pretty compact. That's the, the, the kinds we have. I didn't load everything up in the bag, just, you know, but you can fit three more of those. You can fit changes of clothes in here. Um, 
or you can put your changes of clothes in these bags. I mean, there's plenty of space. We fit everything in the confines of the front and the hatchback. Nothing was in the cabin with the exception of those fishing poles. But I mean, if you're going camping or whatever your road trip is and, and you're not going fishing, you wouldn't have to slide those fishing poles through the center cons uh, through that back middle seat. You know, they do make now a, a roof rack, uh, which I'm considering because I do have, you can see it here, I do have a kayak. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if that uh, comes into play at some point. So there you have it. That was everything we fit in there. Quite a bit of stuff. Everything we'd need for a camping trip in you know, four days or so. Probably get the most for, for the four of us, but. I just thought this might be helpful for some of you guys kind of like wondering how much you can actually fit in here. It's quite a bit, so. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this helped out a little bit for you. And uh, until next time, we'll see you later.